Oh, hey guys, it's Ava. I'm going to get my... Oh, great, there you are. Hey everybody, I'm Ava and I am going to give you a few seconds so we can have some people in the community. So let me just move it so you can see me while I can see you and we can see each other. So I am jumping in. Yeah, I know. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in, Clara. I'm in the community and I am going to do this tonight. So welcome, 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 welcome everyone. I'm trying to make sure that you can see that I'm live and I'm in the group. Uh, awesome. I can see myself. Fantastic. So there we go. So let me just introduce myself. I'm not going to wait on you guys to jump on purely because I think that we knew that I was going to be here. So I expected you guys to show up, be here, be present and we can have an amazing time. So I'm seeing some familiar faces in the group, which is fantastic. Some people that I know very well. Um, awesome. Very nice. Um, and so we are really and truly going to be having about 20 minutes maximum. Um, I'm not going to be long because I've been teaching all day. So I'm on the tired side, um, to be honest with you. Um, I'm a little bit tired right now, so I'm going to make sure that I am giving you information quickly, succinctly, and rapidly. So welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Dr. Ava Eager Brown. Hi, Carol. How are you doing? Um, some of you have seen me so many times on Facebook because we, we share communities, and a lot of you are on my Facebook page, so you know me. But for those of us who do not know who I am, let me introduce myself to you. I'm Dr. Ava Eager Brown. I'm a life and business strategist. I'm also a book coach and tonight I'm coming to you under that umbrella um, purely because I started my business from a book. So who am I? I'm a little girl that was born in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. I saw mangoes on the train. I was sexually abused by my father. I was homeless and I, I have been through a myriad of stuff that otherwise could have killed me. But thankfully, I'm standing strong. And through those experiences, I sought to write a book about my life catapulting or capturing my life story from a teenager uh, through to adolescence into adulthood and into the old woman I am today. And as we speak, I'm in the middle of about to launch. Hi, Genevieve. Oh, hi, Genevieve, baby. Mwah, 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 mwah. Long time, girl. I am about to launch my book which is going to be my biggest seller i can say it very privately in this group i just received an email from a hollywood producer who's working on my book um and the email was so amazing i literally called audrey and i was screaming on the phone um but the reality is that my book is becoming a feature film and some of you might realize i'm really busy but i'm also quiet because i have so many things going on behind the background so i am talking tonight about the book that thing that thing that you can turn into a business now why am i an authority talk to talk about books i'm an authority to talk about books because I've been able to help your own group leader, your community leader, Clara Rafai, who is doing some amazing stuff. Can we just give some time? Can you just tap the screen for Clara? Tap, 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 tap. Can you show Clara some love? I'm not going to give any content until I see the hearts, the taps, the screen going up for Clara Rafai, who's a great community leader, but also somebody who's put this together for you guys to give you content, to bring you amazing thought leaders to add value. So I want to see you tap the screen and show Clara some love. I am not seeing it. And until I see the love, I want to see you tap the screen. Thank you so much. Give Clara some love because let me tell you something. Thought leaders like myself and the people she's brought to you this week, they don't come cheaply. I know that they charge money for content, but Clara was able to ask very nicely and I've seen Clara's journey and I'm really proud of her. So uh, a lot of you may know that I've helped to work on many books. Uh, I have a particular book that stays on my desk and it comes out very often. And that is the in the case of, and if it's not here today, I'm going to cry. And that is in the case of your very community leader, Clara Rufa. You know her book. Um, we did this book in 64 days, I think it was. And if you are in this community and you have not bought this book, I suggest 
you go and get it. It is by your one and only Clara Rufai. Let me just show you that it's her book. Can you see that? Exactly. And it's called Prison Break, The 9 to 5 Escape Agenda. Hi, Valerie. And if you haven't gotten a copy, please go and get one today. Amazon.com. And if you don't have Amazon, Clara will tell you how. So I've helped a number of authors and potential authors and new authors to write their stories and write their books. And one of the things that I was able to do in my own life is to use my story, my little story, nothing special, my story, and I wrote a book. And then I realized that the book could give me a business. And it was amazing. And it was almost like a child asking for candy and then you got the candy and if you tap something, you got more candy. And I realized, damn, if I did X, Y, Z and W, I could make my book into a business. And so I did the book and before you know it, I was speaking somewhere and people were asking me to do stuff. And then I realized that I'm onto something. So tonight I'm gonna give you five reasons why you must have a book. Um, I'm gonna give you the benefits of having a book. And I'm gonna tell you how five things you can do from writing a book into a business. So why you must have a book, the five reasons, five things that you should do when you have a book and how to make a book into a business. So the first thing is that one of the reasons that you will know that you need to write a book and notice I did not say a story because everybody think that because I don't have a story like Ava, you don't have to have a story like me. I didn't say write a story. I said, write a book. So number one, and I hope you're taking notes. The first reason is if people keep asking you for something more than three times, if somebody asks you something more than three times, right, then you absolutely know you need to write a book. So for example, people keep asking me, Ava, how did you skyrocket? How did you quantum leap? I'm going to write a book. I'm going to write a course because right away I realized that people are asking me the same thing more than three times. So the first reason is if people are asking you the same thing more and you have to tell them more than three times, you need to write a book. The second reason why you must write a book is that a book makes you a thought leader. So if you're thinking of opening a business, I don't care what the business is. It could be that you're teaching me how to fix my dreadlocks that are messy at the moment write a book. It could be that your business means you're going to make bangles, write a book. Whatever you are good at and you're thinking of doing a business with it, you should put it in a book. Number three, a book will go places that your feet will not thread, tread. Your book is going to go to places that you will never reach. My book is in Nepal. I've never been to India. I've never been to Asia, but my book goes there, right? The fourth reason why you should have a book is that it is now the new business card. Like it is now the new business card. And when I went to Steve Harvey recently, Steve Harvey tells you that you need to carry a, bit, a book these days, not a business card anymore. A book will go places you've never been and it is a business card. And the fifth reason, like this is vain you all, but a book is in vogue. A book is in vogue. If you are a thought leader and you ain't got a book, I'm so sorry, you're missing out. It is, it's become, it's en vogue. It is en vogue. So the five reasons are number one, right? If people are asking you about the same thing more than three times, it's time to write a book. Number two, it makes you, it positions you as a thought leader. Number three, it doesn't matter what it is that you are doing once you are having the expertise put it in a book number four it will go places you have never been and number five a book is in vogue and that's the reality it's a business card so those are my five reasons why you should be writing a book and there's several other reasons but those five reasons right there are reasons that i think that you should write a book now once you've written the book what does it do for you? I'm going to talk about the business last. What does a business, what does a book do for you? Oh my God. Like I'm going to just talk about myself because I know Ava very well. I don't know Clara thoroughly. I don't know Valerie thoroughly. I don't know Genevieve thoroughly, but I know me thoroughly. A book 
I'll give an, I'm, I'm going to read an email to you. I'm, let me read an email to you so you can understand what I'm talking about. So I received an email today from, 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 from Lisa Nichols team. And it says, hi, Ava, just checking in to see what else you need so I can support you. Love Lisa. A book makes people like Lisa Nichols sends me text messages, sends me emails, put me in their, their view. A book positions you in front of the right people who you need to work with. Did you hear that? A book, not a story, a book. So a book opened doors for you. You never could have imagined if you didn't have one. A book positions you in front of the right experts. A book is an income source. Thank you very much, Janet. Thank you. A book is an income source. A book gives you credibility. Can, can somebody just write that for me? A book gives you credibility. Today, I was in my bed watching some good old Nollywood. Like, let me just tell you all. I've been watching Nollywood since last night. I've been watching Nollywood tonight. Oh, come and oh, baby, thank you for that kiss. Oh, kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh, I love you too. Can you? I'll be, I'll be up shortly. A book. Even my son wants to write a book. Okay, upstairs. A book. So I've been in my bed watching Nollywood all night tonight. Today tonight as a matter of fact i'm here watching when i'm done here i'm gonna finish watching this new one called comfort my wife and i was just detoxing i was just detox my book got me into nollywood um as into acting nollywood and i was just detoxing with some good old nollywood because i like nollywood i love africa you know that and i was i was coaching a client a new client and i was in my bed i was you should have seen me i was in my pajamas nollywood on pause my covers because it was cold and I was just chilling and I was coaching somebody in my bed, right? And talking to her about how she can use her book, which we've just finished to become a business card, to become a door opener. A book makes you authority. So straight away, she comes to me because she's like, oh my God, Ava, you got a book. You're doing so well. I want to work with you. Even if you're rubbish, it says you have credibility. Now you shouldn't be rubbish. But the book does that for you. So it gives you credibility. It opens doors that you never thought about. It's an income earner. When Amazon sends my check every now and then, I'm really happy. Okay? It, it really positions you in a way that I can't explain it. Like, today I was talking to one of the producers from Too Fast, Too Furious. That's because of my book. Now, Too Fast, Too Furious 8 is out. You know that, right? But I was talking to him. Like, my book put me in front of that kind of conversation. My book has me interview people like Dr. V, Lisa Nichols, work on stage with Eric Thomas, Nick Whitechick. My book makes people know my name. People now cause my name in Hawaii. Come on, you all. I never been to Hawaii. But Daria Chisholm, the girl who done my book, um, the forward for my book, she was in Hawaii last month. And people were calling my name. And she was like, oh my God, Ava, people know you in Hawaii. Come on. But let me tell you something. Everything I do now, I was able to do them before I had a book. Nobody took notice until I had a book. So a book gives you credibility. It says that you're authority. It's an income earner. It places you and positions you in front of the right people. It gives you speaking engagement because... It opens doors wide open that you just walk through like, like, like Leonardo DiCaprio. Woom. That's what a book does for you. I want you to understand that. And you don't have to have a story to tell. Remember three times, whenever you're repeating the same things three times, then it means that you need to write a book about it. You need to produce something about it. Oh my God. The power of a book. I share stayed with Hollywood Hollywood stars because of my book. Today, somebody awarded me a contract because of my book. You know, so I want you to understand that. So those are some of the five reasons I think I probably have given you six 
as to what a book can do for you. Now, the last thing, which is the juiciest thing, I'm going to take some questions if you have any. The last thing, which is the juiciest thing of all, is how do you turn a book into a business? So I'm going to give you five simple ways. So I'm going to go slow on this one. So you can all take some notes. So number one, you have the book itself. Okay. <clears throat> number one is the book. So five ways of book gives you wings. The five ways when you're asked the same question three times, there you are. The five ways you can make a book into a business. Number one, the book itself. Okay. Number two, speaking engagements. So you find topical issues around your book and when I work with my clients so when you come to me you already have a book or you work with me post your book so beyond your book like I'm working with a client right now and she's she's putting out her book but we're doing the behind the scenes all the things you do to make that book into a bigger business so not just write the book and you run off and say thank you Ava bye but she's staying with me because I'm holding her hand to teach her some of what I do to hold her and introduce her to some of the people I have because my Rolodex has become very exciting. And I have some crazy people in my Rolodex now that I can say, okay, call that person, inbox. I was having a conversation this week about going on Steve Harvey's show because of my book. Come on. That's because of my book. So the book is the first income. The second one is speaking engagement. So you can speak around topical issues in your book, about your book, around your book, but you can speak. So number three is you can make programs and courses. What do I mean by that? Let us say your book is about mental health or domestic violence and abuse. You can write a program for women and men who have come out of domestic violence or a course to help them come out of domestic violence. And you can sell that as a product by itself. Right? So those are three products right there. The book, speaking engagement, a course, right? That's three there. Number four, you can put on your own workshops. So you can put on your own workshops through your book. Your own workshop. You can put on your own workshop, your own webinars, your own workshop, your own seminars, your own whatever. You can put on your own stuff, right? Based on your book. The other way that you can use your book to make money is that depending on what your book is in, you can become a consultant. You can become an expert consultant. So, for example, if you write about diabetes, you can become a, 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 a consultant in the Diabetes Foundation. You can become a consultant in the NHS if you write a good book, that is. So those are five ways, and I, there are several. There's a myriad of other things I could tell you, teach you of how you can make money with your book. But right away, there's building a business because you're building, am I frozen? You're building a speaking business. You're building an events business. You're building a consultant business. Right away, you are building a lot of businesses out of your book. And I have, I teach my clients, most of my clients, how to make a business out of your book. Clara has made a business out of her book. She now speaks. She's running her own workshop. This is an example. This is an example of what Clara has done from her book. This is one of her events. It may be free, but on another occasion, this could be a paid event. Here's an example, a typical example. This platform was created based on Clara's book. So all in all, I want to, I want to, I want to wrap up my segment of conversation with you by saying to you that do not underestimate the power of a book. And what I don't want you to walk away thinking is I don't have a story. I didn't say a story. I said a book. A book can be a book on teaching people, can be an information book. It can be a guide. It can be so many different things. It doesn't need to be a sad sob story. All of us don't have one, but what all of us have our skills and expertise that we do have that are invaluable within us 
and we repeat ourselves so many times sharing that expertise that is high time we start putting it to paper. And so before I take questions or comments, if we have any, uh, I want to say to you that the power of a book must never be underestimated. I am standing firmly on my book. Your book doesn't have to be perfect. Your English doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to have the best English grades to get to get your book done. All of those things are, are old time stories. Nowadays, once you can get your thoughts on paper, there's an expert team behind the scenes that can put that together for you. And so on that note, I wanna say to you, if you're thinking about it, it's time to stop thinking about it and do it. If you're struggling in your business and if you're going out there and you're having a business and you do not have a book, you really are wasting time. You are leaving money on the table and it's high time that you capitalize on all your income streams and start making your book your hook. And so that's my little presentation. I know it's not a lot, um, but it's really, I hope that you had some punchy nuggets. Um, I try to be very succinct. I try to give it to you straight. I try to not go around the bush. I try to be to the point. I just like to give it to you. Boom. Yeah. Boom. That's me. And so on that basis, please do understand that your books, there you are. Your pillar talk Valerie is because of your book. I held your hand through that. And we had a, we had a book session on the coach last, last week going to Audra's mom's funeral and we were producing more stuff from a book. So guys, um, Leap and Shine Conference that Clara does is from her book. So make your book your hook. S literally stuck in that book. Let us start now, today. Don't wait for tomorrow. And I have this amazing book, this amazing book called You Are So Awesome. And today I was reading um, something and it says that um. I'm going to try and find it because I wanted to share it with you. Success is the small things, the small efforts repeated day in and day out, right? And they were saying to you that opportunity doesn't just show up. Yeah. You have to knock it down. So I want you to understand that you are free to dream. You are free to dream as you want to. Yeah. You are free to dream. But you have to take those dreams and leave sparkles and, and decorate those dreams of your own life. You have to decorate your dreams, yeah? And understand, the question is, the question isn't, who is going to let me? The question from tonight should be, who is going to stop me from writing my book? Not who is going to let me, but who is going to stop me from writing my book. And this goes for those on the replay. Um, those who are here, great. It's amazing. I love it. The fact that you are here and you got it live and direct. But for those of you who are on the replay, who are procrastinating, who are sitting there wanting to get a book, not sure that you want to write a book, what are you waiting for? What have you got to lose? Do you know how nice it feels to be called an author? I got nominated. I got... This week I got an email. We are honoring you. We are honoring you with an award. We are honoring you. This is the second award, my unpublished book. The second award, my unpublished book is going to win. That's recognition, you all. That is recognition, okay? And when I walk through a door, I can say I'm an award-winning author because I am. This is my seventh award as an author in two years. And the New York bestseller is waiting on me. Okay. So for those of us who are thinking about the book, get up off your bum and ask yourself, Ava, not even you can stop me. So thank you for that. I, I'm, I'm going to invite you to my event. Of course, Purpose Walk is happening. It's out of a book. Purpose Walk came out of a book it was my book that got me started and i stand firmly on my book i want to thank clara Rufai, who i have a lot of respect for i love your tenacity your resilience your strength your audaciousness your boldness 
in stepping up and saying, I am going to be counted. I'm going to stand on prison break and through prison break, I am going to change lives one section at a time. Clara has got some amazing opportunities for people in this group. She started a new business. She's partnering with myself and some huge names from the US. And I want to invite you to take a look at Clara's business with her. You know me, I'm a salesperson, so I've got to sell. An inbox her, ask her, Clara, tell me about what is it that you're doing? How can I be a part? Let me see if it is for me. And Clara might just surprise you, but it may not even be for you. It may be for somebody else in your family, your friends, who you can share the word. And I do believe that, you know, I believe that there's a song I learned in, in, in Sunday school um, that we must pass it on. I believe in pass it on. I believe in passing it on. And one of the things I really truly believe, truly believe is that people who are ready to pass it on, your course is cooking, amazing. I can't wait for that to happen, Clara. I want to see that course. It should not be cooking, Clara. We need to we need to serve the course. It's time to put it on the table and get the forks and the knives out and let's start eating that food because the course sitting down being cooking means that some people are hungry and if they can't get the course to eat from your table, they're going somewhere else. So Clara, let's fix that. But on that note, I want to invite you to Purpose Walk. Come and join with me. Come and fellowship. Come and come and laugh and chat and sit and laugh and, and just take from it what you need. Because sometimes, sometimes we just need to be around the right people who can guide us, who can steer us, who can literally say, sister, I've got your back. Let me show you how. You know, sometimes that's what we need. So guys, on that note, I thank you for listening to me. I'm honored I never take this opportunity for granted, no matter how many thousands of people I speak in front of. Every time I speak, I take it with such value. I honor it. I respect you, Clara, for allowing me to serve your community. And if anybody here wants to speak to me, you know where to find me. I'm always available. But more importantly, run. Leap and shine. Leap into your own story tonight. Leap into your own book, understanding that only you can stop your journey, your progress. Only you, only you have got the power to decide whether you're awesome or not. And so if you have any questions for me, I'll take about three questions very quickly, and then I'm gonna be out of here to go back and watch in my Nollywood. I hope I truly, truly, truly served you tonight because that was my objective. Thank you. You're welcome, Genevieve, you're welcome. <laughs> thank you clara yeah 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 thank you thank you guys please share this post i don't know if clara allow you to share out of out of the community but if you can if you're allowed to share outside of the community please do go ahead and do so um and let's get more people coming to join leap and shine how can we make the how can we mark the book how can we mark the book what does that mean valerie i'm not sure how can we mark the book tell me what does that mean so i can understand it and then i'll answer it um how can we mark it market the book so valerie that's something i'll teach you i know we're working i'll teach you that valerie i teach marketing your book um i actually the client i had today that's what i was teaching her how to market her book there are so many strategies i have 250 ways of how to market your book, 250 ways. I plan to run a, um, a book seminar um, online um, soon, a group seminar, and I'm gonna focus purely on marketing your book, not writing it, just marketing it. So if you're interested in that, please let me know. I have 200, and I'm not kidding, I have 250 ways of how you can market your book, and I'm not joking. Okay, so Valerie is something we can look into. Valerie, you're meant to make a diary appointment in my diary for this week or next week. Do you get the deal with publisher or sell? Okay, so I now do, I do both now. I now do a publisher. I now have an Ava Brown publishing company. I'm working with a traditional publisher. Um, so when I work with my clients, they have those options. They can be self-published or they can publish um, directly into publishing, publishing where they have a wider distribution. It actually costs more money, but I think the benefits are better. And the reason I didn't offer it before was because it's something I was working on behind the scenes and I have just had the fulfillment. We're just signing the contracts and I something I'll be able to offer. Even people who have published before, it's not an option where we can come back and rehab have the new conversation of how we can republish your book and get you into a bigger circulation. Yes, 250 ways, yes. 
Any other question? Marketing your book, yeah. I keep losing the calendar link. Okay, I'm gonna send that to you now, Valerie, because we don't want you to lose my calendar. You must always have my calendar. Uh, we've got business to do, Valerie. We got stuff to do. We got lots of work to do, um, and you know that already. So let's not waste any time. Okay, so let me send that to you right now. Um, any more questions? Um, failing that, Mommy, I am. Okay. Um, failing that, I'm going to be jumping out of here. So let me know if you have any more questions, and then I will take it from you. Mommy. Valerie, I'm going to drop that for you now. Be quiet, Mikkel. Um, I'm going to drop that for you. <sighs> when you have a book, you can work from home, and your children can disturb you. It's not favorable, but it happens. Okay, I'll just drop it in your inbox, Valerie. There you are. Guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you, Clara. You are amazing for letting me come in to serve your tribe. Um, I look forward to serving you guys at Purpose Walk. Um, please, please share the link for Purpose Walk um, and come out and join me. But more importantly, Genevieve, ask Clara what is it that she's doing. She's partnering with me on a business. Question her. Become curious and ask her what is it about. I thank you guys. Namaste. Thank you so much. Buenas noches, mi amigos. Au revoir. Bye-bye. <laughs>